Look at my general CD collection, part six. Oh, hi everybody, and welcome to part six of a look at my general CD collection. Explained all this previous videos so I'm not going to go into any more detail apart from to say you can watch the previous videos on the playlist let's carry on next up we have the best of Pink Floyd uh, a foot in the door Floyd a band I've never really got why they're so popular that said I've never listened to a Pink Floyd album but from the bits I've heard I just don't get it I don't hate them I just don't get why I've you know, they're one of the biggest bands and everybody wave, raves over them. Um, this is a compilation of sort of their greatest hits, but they didn't really have greatest hits apart from a couple of tracks. Um, it, but annoyingly on here, they sort of segue into each other and at points and it sort of ruins it for me. But let's you know there's stuff on here i like see emily play i've always enjoyed another brick in the wall part two is obviously a great song wish you were here is good great gig in the sky is good money's good i've never really got pink floyd's version of comfortably numb probably because i knew the scissor sisters version first and they're so different and i love the scissor sisters version and i know that might be sacrilege to some of you but i've never really got it's okay but it's not the song i know um I don't know if I'm going to end up getting more Floyd. I might get Dark Side just to see what all the fuss is about. I don't know. This is Loose Cannon by the Divine Comedy, my favourite band. This is a compilation of live tracks performed in Europe in 2016 and 17 on the tour for Foreverland. The first stage of the tour, they did a tour. Um, end of 2016 beginning of 2017 that I saw at the London Palladium in, 20, in February I think it was 2017 then they did another tour at the end of the year which I saw in October in Bournemouth um, but this is from a this is the set list from the first half of the tour they're two very different set lists but every song on here is amazing because it's divine comedy and I love them this is Extreme Metal Meltdown Live. This is a concert celebrating the 25th anniversary of Extreme's album Pornography, which is their biggest hit album. It had more than words on it and Get the Funk Out and Wholehearted and Decadence Dance, I think, were the singles. Oh, and Song for Love. Um, but this is a live recording in Las Vegas. And they played the album completely in order and then they did a couple of they did play with me which was from their first album and cupid's dead which was from their third album at the end and this is it on cd dvd and blu-ray a free disc set if memory serves yes but i love extreme big fan this is paul simon's the ultimate collection nice little compilation it's a mixture of his solo stuff and his the simon and garfunkel stuff it's got pretty much everything you would want on it. I have subsequently picked up a couple of his albums and I will no doubt get more. But yeah, this is pretty much all you need really on there. Uh, back to Alan Price. If you watched the previous part, I explained how I got into Alan Price. When I was, my battery started dying, so I quickly rushed through some albums. There's a lot more here. Um, oh, I didn't mention, if you don't know who Alan Price is, he was originally the keyboard player in The Animals. Then he went solo. Um, this is yet another anthology compilation. There's a lot of those. Here's another one. Geordie Boy, the anthology. Most of these have got the same tracks on. But usually there's one or two different ones on there. Um, there'll be some more Alan in a minute. But in the meantime, this is The Further Adventures of Little Voice by Jane Horrocks. So Jane starred in the film Little Voice. Where, and in the original stage play where she showed off her talent for mimicking female singers and the compilation of that the soundtrack album rather of the film sold really well so she was signed up to do the further adventures of 
So these are songs that aren't in the film. And what she does here is classic songs that are associated one, with one singer, but done by a different singer. So Hello Dolly, I think she does as Shirley Bassey, if memory serves. Long time since I listened to this, but you get the gist. Um, there's some um, duets on here. She does one with Ewan McGregor, one with Robbie Williams, which is my main reason for getting this. And then one of those ones where they use an old recording and as a duet with Dean Martin. This is Design of a Decade, the best of Janet Jackson from 86 to 96. Really good, really strong compilation of probably Janet's best era. Again, there's another one. It's got everything you would want from that era on there. Back onto Alan Price. This is another compilation. This is for House That Jack Built. So these are all his... his um, I'm trying to think now. Yeah, this is everything he released as a solo artist in the 60s, basically. Plus some BBC sessions, which aren't on other things. But yeah, 53 tracks on there. This is a price on his head. This was the first. I think this was the first Alan Price set album. No, it wasn't. Tell a lie. This was the first Alan Price out. If when he left the Animals, he formed the Alan Price set, and then he just became Alan Price. And yeah, this was his first Alan Price album, um, with lots of bonus tracks on here as well. Another compilation, this is I Put A Spell On You. This is all the Alan Price sets, A and B sides. Uh, tiny break from Alan Price to Alanis Morissette. Um, Jagged Little Pill. I'm sure you're all familiar with this album. I'm sure you all know that it is a fantastic album. Back onto Alan, this is Liberty. This was an album he released in 1989. Uh, it's got some really good stuff on here actually. It's very, it's pretty much him, just him at a keyboard and the, it's sort of got cheesy keyboardy sounds on some of the tracks but it's got some really good songs and it's got a re, he redoes changes on here as well. But yeah, there's some good bits on there. This is one of my favourite live albums ever. This is Alan Price, A Rock and Roll Night at the Royal Court Theatre. It's just really good. It's Alan with... Um, no, ignore me. I lied. This isn't the album I'm thinking of. This is good, but this isn't the album I'm thinking of. Um, this is him doing rock and roll classics live. Well, that's not what I was thinking of. Uh, this is his album Rising Sun from 1979-80. Very good, very strong album. Two or three really good tracks. This is his album England My England from 1978. Again, strong, some good tracks. This is his self-titled album from 77. I'm going to say it again, strong, some good tracks. This is Shouts Across the Street from 1976. Guess what? Strong, good tracks. Uh, this is Fame and Price, Price and Fame together. So he worked with Georgie Fame and they released this album and they did lots of TV appearances and had a hit single with Rosetta, which is the first track on here. And it's a really good album. This is Metropolitan Man, his album from 1975. Uh, very strong, really good tracks. This is Between Today and Yesterday from 1970. Oh, this is a reissue and it doesn't say on here when the original was released. 74. My favourite. If you don't count one I'm going to show you in a minute probably but as a proper album this is my favourite Alan Price album uh, it's got two different versions of Between Today and Yesterday the title track on here which are two very different songs of exactly the same song if that makes sense 
and works really well. But there's just some Jarro songs on here, which was a big hit. It's just a really, really good, really, really good album. This is the album, live album I was thinking of. This is Performing Price. Yeah, this is one of my favourite live albums ever. It's him with an orchestra performing a lot of his songs. And it's just amazing. This is what I just referred to. This is the soundtrack to Oh Lucky Man. This is brilliant, but it's a short album. It's only 20 odd minutes, I think. So I don't really count it as an album. Um, it's a brilliant film. I heartily recommend the film. It's very strange, but it's brilliant. Um, and Alan appears in it and does the soundtrack as well. But yeah, I could listen to this over and over and over and over and over. And indeed I have. This is a price to play. This is, I believe, the Alan Price Sets debut album. Uh, Hi Lily, Hi Low was the sort of a hit from this. It's really good. Very much of its time, mid 60s R&B. Uh, this is Young Last, the Aerosmith anthology, a two CD Aerosmith greatest hits. Uh, for me, it's one CD too long. It could quite easily edit down to a really strong CD, but that's just because I'm not a huge fan of Aerosmith. I just like a fair few of their tracks. Uh, Living on the Edge, but it's an acoustic version on here. Uh, is he written on here as well? No. See, you know, that ruins it. Uh, crying, Crazy, Shut Up and Dance, Dream On, Sweet Emotion, but they're both, both those last are live versions. Uh, dude looks like a lady. Love in an elevator. Walk this way. It's about all that's needed. In my opinion. Uh, this is Hits and Pieces for Best of Mark Almond and Soft Cell. And I'm trying to remember how this is. Yeah, it's just a mixture throughout. I think it's in more or less chronological order. So it starts off with the soft sale stuff and then moves on to the Mark Allman stuff. He's just got an amazing voice and he's done some really, really good songs. So I enjoy that a lot. And finally for this part, yeah, we've got Pollinator, which is Blondie's most recent album. I bought this in a bundle. I've got it, you'll have seen on other videos, on Red Vinyl, a seven inch box set of each track on the side of a seven inch. Uh, cassette and this and it came with a signed print it's a, it's an okay album it's not amazing but it's an okay album so that's it for part six uh so you can watch previous parts on the playlist and future parts obviously thank you for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you on another video thanks bye